Soon, the coronavirus testing site in Lot J outside the stadium will be testing more people each day. This is what it looked like from Sky 4 today. The federal government has been running the testing there, but it is now under state management. Today, our reporters are looking into the... This is affecting our lives. We start with News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Piggott, who was at Lot J when the governor visited this afternoon and delivered new information on the state's fight against the pandemic. Jim? Hey, Tom, let me show you what's going on here at Lot J right now. I've been here almost every day since it's been open, and they are still testing people. They're supposed to close at 5 o'clock, but you can see there are still some of the technicians and medical personnel out there testing people. And one reason is they've actually started increasing that number, doing 400 people a day now, and they're saying that's going to make a big difference. But starting on Monday, we're going to really see some changes out here. First off, you're not going to see as many police officers. That's because the National Guard is going to be coming in and stepping in and taking over those positions, allowing the police officers to return to the street. And some of the testing criteria on Monday is going to change. Right now, you have to be symptomatic. But on Monday, if you've been around somebody that has been positive, you can be tested as well, even if you're not showing symptoms. Speaking along with the mayor and others at Lot J today, Governor Ron DeSantis says there was no way he was going to let the site close and two other federal testing sites in Florida. He says while we may be seeing the curve flatten a bit, it's no time to step back now. The governor had plenty to say about how Jacksonville and all of Northeast Florida is handling the pandemic. With a rate of about 5 to 6 percent of those tested at Lot J being positive, the governor says that's actually a good sign. Places like New York City, there's 40 percent of the people are testing positive. So here in Jacksonville, the people that are coming through there are either healthcare workers, first responders, or they have symptoms. So you're not just testing a random sampling, you're, you, you really are focusing on people that have symptoms. And so um, to have a five or 6% rate, to me, that's a good sign. Um, because in other parts of the country, when you get 30, 35, 40%, uh, that's an indication that it's spreading. The governor talked about hospital capacity here in Jacksonville and the entire state. 44% of the state hospital beds are available, while 45% of the beds are not being used in Jacksonville. Plus, 48% of the beds in ICU are still available here in Duval County. The governor says this points to the fact that we're doing something right. Listen to the mayor, listen to the sheriff, um, listen to the folks here, because I think Northeast Florida has handled this very well. Um, and I think if you just keep doing what you're doing, you know, I think we're going to be able to get through this here in Northeast Florida. And I know a lot of people have been concerned about unemployment and filing those unemployment claims. The governor did address that today. He said that they have opened up a second website where people are going. He believes that's making a difference. Plus, they're bringing in state workers from other departments to help handle those and process some of the backup they're having on that. We're live at Lot J, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.